Ethan was the first person in Nauru to study and get a full education. She then became a school teacher and she believed that education was the way forward. A lot of the children had painful stories from home lives. And she believed that if every child had an opportunity to good education, to education that would allow them to know themselves more deeply, that would start to solve many of the problems that we could see in our communities today. Tadidi, the deep in spring inside us. We call on it and it calls on us. On the 26th of January in 1988, Miriam presented Dadidi to the Australian nation. She presented it as a gift to all Australians. Dadidi is such an important part of Aboriginal lives because living on this continent, we've learned to listen since our earliest times listening to our elders, listening to our, our youth. I don't think Australia has heard fully the pain and the distress that Aboriginal people have suffered in this country. Non-Aboriginal people in this country also carried their own pain, their own trauma. And so if we slow down and open ourselves up, we can start to heal that pain under the anger, under the distress. The concept and the activity and the force of Dodidi is important to us all. Dodidi just does not happen out in the bush, it happens everywhere, anywhere. Story maps, on the beach, sitting, listening and talking to each other. You can take your spouse, your friends, spend a night and listening to your children talk and tell stories. And as we do that across this country, healing starts to happen because every person wants to be heard, wants to be listened to wants to know who they are. When I go to visit with Miriam, she's quiet in the way she sits. She has a beautiful energy, softness, but she can be incredibly strong. And she has a call. She's put out a call to us all. Let's listen at that deep level of who we are, what we have been, what we are now, and what we can become. <laughs> 